Right, in today's video, we're gonna talk about a 2021 brand new Dodge Ram 1500. So we're doing multiple services to this truck. We are doing uh, a couple of areas with paint protection film. We're doing like the high impact areas like the bumper. That's gonna get wrapped with paint protection film. We're also doing the side mirrors, um, the headlights, and we're also adding door cups and door edges. Uh, that's gonna be done with paint protection film. Another thing that we'll be doing is, that's why I got myself laced up and ready to go. I'm not baking cookies. I'm gonna actually go ahead and start helping the guys out polish because we already finished all the paint protection and film. Uh, we also did a windshield. We did a ceramic film on the windshield. Now we're getting the truck ready for ceramic coating. Uh, like you guys know us, you know, even though it's new, we wanna make sure that the paint is really, really thoroughly polished before we put on something that's gonna be permanent, like a ceramic coating. Uh, we're doing two layers of a five-year coating. So let's get to work. All right, guys, so again, 2021, but as you guys can see, if you focus to the naked eye, I mean, you'll see like it's a perfect paint. Like if I turn this flashlight off, it's, it's perfect, you know, to the naked eye, to the untrained eye, it looks great. But once, you know, you bring it into a, a qualified detailer and bring out the, the light and inspect all the swirl marks, I mean, it's hard to see it on here because of all the metallic, but you see that the little fine uh, spider webbing pattern that's on here? That's what we're gonna be removing. Oh, you can see it there a lot better. Uh, all of that's gonna be removed before we put the ceramic coating. So that's what we're doing. We're going uh, panel by panel. We're trying to see what uh, pad and what polish is gonna work best for this one. And then after we do that, we're gonna wash the truck again and then put the ceramic coating. All right guys, so for the paint correction process, we are gonna be using the Griot's Garage system. Uh, I'm a big fan and a big believer of a system and I think this system is pretty good. Uh, it's actually helping out some of the guys that are starting out with us uh, this week. So I think uh, developing a system for the team, it's pretty good. So like that, we're all on the same page as far as like what we're doing. We're actually gonna be using the Griot's Garage G9 Random Orbital Polisher. Uh, not much of a, of a huge stroke on this one. This is about, I think from eight uh, to nine. This is a nine millimeter throw. So it's pretty good. We're not doing such a heavy, heavy paint correction on this because it's pretty new. We're just moving, you know, 70, 80% of that swirl marks that are there. Uh, we're also using the Lake Country HDO medium cut polish pad. I guess the only thing that isn't part of the Griot's Garage system here it's the, the pad. But other than that, we're using everything from Griot's Garage. I met Jeff Brown, I'll say probably about three years ago in SEMA. Jeff Brown is a hell of a guy. He developed this, uh, this system, the, the boss system, which we're really a big fan of here. And this is pretty much what we tell most of my uh, new guys that I bring on board. Uh, we use the Griot's Garage boss system. All right, so I got the the, the pad pretty much loaded up and prepped. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little section for you guys here to see how much correction we are getting. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's gonna be my, my little area. the towel make sure that there's no dirt on the towel before we actually start rubbing it against the paint polish comes off really easy and this is what we call a, a test spot uh, so with the test spot I'll be able to know exactly what pad what polish how many uh, passes we got to do and Pretty much if it works here, we know that we, if we keep that same pattern throughout the rest of the truck, it's gonna work on the whole truck. So that's why we always do a little test spot here. And this way we know exactly how much correction we're gonna need. And we could uh, base our price accordingly to that as well. But I think this is pretty much all we're gonna need. Let me see. Oh yeah, so now all I'm seeing is the true pearl metallic finish. Um, all that little light swirl marks have been removed. And we didn't sacrifice too much of the clear coat because we are just using a medium cut polish 
with a medium cut pad. Therefore, we're not minimizing too much clear coat because at the end of the day, every time this machine is rotating and oscillating on your paint, we are taking off some clear coat and that's why the swirl marks are less visible because that little layer has been removed. All right, so we don't want to remove too much clear coat like I was saying and that's why our approach is always the least aggressive method first, the medium cut polish, medium cut pad. I didn't jump into something very aggressive and very abrasive like a compound and a more heavy cut uh, pad because you know the truck didn't need it. So I think just a medium cut polish, that's what we're gonna do. Now we got this whole truck to do, so we have a lot of work. Let's get right to it. So this is the Flex PXE80 with a 12 volt battery. Uh, it's a smaller machine, three inch. We can actually, I think, work this on a one inch as well, but we're gonna use the three inch. So like small little areas like right here that I can't tackle with the, the big six inch pad. Like for example, right here, I'm gonna hit it up with this. I was just cleaning it up. We're almost gonna treat this like therapy, you know? like a therapeutic for us to really bring up the best shine possible. And at the same time, it's very rewarding, you know, because uh, when the customer comes back and sees it and sees that you actually did take your time and, and try to correct the paint the best that you could, it's very rewarding when the customer gives you that wow, you know, that, oh my God, I, I don't even want to drive it. We get that a lot here. It's awesome how the, uh, how the machines have evolved too. Like, you know, I've been polishing paint for like about seven years now. And uh, these uh, wireless, what's it called, battery machines are pretty new and they're pretty awesome. This one, this one punch, this one has a lot of power for being a, a wireless, no cord machine. Let me actually dial it down a little bit because it's pretty powerful. Here we go. I got my supervisor over here. Yesterday we spent it polishing the paint. Uh, we brought it up to a nice shine and then now we're ready to apply the ceramic coating. Uh, but before we do that, we brought it outside. We use our pressure washer just to remove all the, all the dust and all the particles from the polish and the paint correction. And now that it's been thoroughly cleaned again, we're gonna strip all the body oils and all the polished oils from uh, the surface, so like that, when we actually put the coating on, it's gonna be on, on, a, on a nice, um, clean surface. And this way, uh, optimal bonding will be assured once we're done with this step. We're using Optimum Paint Prep. It's a good paint prep, so pretty much all we do is just mist it on. And then with a nice, uh, soft microfiber towel, definitely wanna wear gloves when you do this. It's a lot of chemicals. You just, this is, more or less a good um, paint prep cleaner. This will ensure us of a, of a good clean surface so that when we actually put the coating on, like I, like I just finished saying, it, it will stick on there and it won't have any silicones or any wax or any oils from the polish and it'll definitely stick 
you know, hopefully anywhere between three to five years, depending on how the, the truck is stored and, you know, the type of uh, maintenance that is done to it too. So right now we're going to go all over the whole body panels, removing all of this, and then we'll start applying the ceramic coating. All right, so another service that we're doing to the Dodge Ram is the wheels off ceramic coating treatment. We already took off the wheel here. I have Nick over there already prepping the, the wheel. Uh, we're actually applying the ceramic coating. We're using uh, G Technique C5, it's the one that we're using on all these wheels here. It makes it a, a really high gloss. Um, these have like a little a bit of, of a matte finish. So it's giving them a little bit of gloss and at the same time it's leaving a good sacrificial layer. So like that it's a lot easier to repel all the dirt and it's going to make the, the wheel cleaning a lot faster. So we're doing it to all the wheels on this brand new Dodge Ram. that you guys are checking out the channel please consider subscribing because we have a lot of new cars that are coming into the shop and we don't want you guys to miss it well guys we just finished the whole paint correction process i showed you guys how we prepared it to apply the ceramic coating and that's what we did we did two layers of ceramic coating on all the painted surfaces uh, including the wheels we took them off and even though they're satin finish, they have a little bit of more shine to it. Not that armor all greasy shiny, but a very, very nice subtle look to it. And then, I mean, the whole truck is now ceramic coated from the top all the way to the bottom. We did paint protection film on the headlights, the bumper, and the mirrors. That's what we did paint protection film on. And then he wanted to do the ceramic coating on the rest of the vehicle. The last thing we did, we did a Expel XR Plus a ceramic windshield on the windshield as well. So this truck looks very, very nice and shiny and protected. Can't wait to show you guys how it looks outside. I think it's time to go because the customer's here. So let's go.